guys welcome to another episode of buzz lady quick one so guys today we are going to continue our series on worship okay now this entails how to create fills how to create leads how to create passing nodes and so on and so forth okay so guys before we proceed i would like to welcome you to my youtube channel okay if you are new to this youtube channel and if you've not subscribed please hit this subscribe button looking at you and turn on the notification bell okay so that you will miss out of any of the video i upload also have a new youtube account you can also go check out the youtube account and please subscribe okay that youtube channel is where i celebrate other musicians the link will be in the description of this video and also on the screen please 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 kindly go and subscribe okay also guys for my private lessons okay every information is right there on the screen if you want to join my zoom private lesson it's going to be a live zoom session just you and i just check the information right there on the screen or in the description of this video to reach out to me okay so that's it guys now let's go into what i want to show you today how to create base fields now you also need to understand base fields don't doesn't just come like oh i made a mistake i just saw myself doing some certain things and no it doesn't come that way you need to understand what you're doing you need to just understand what you're doing, the movement you're taking going to the next cut progression. So it, it doesn't fall from heaven. Like you just need to understand what you're doing on the bass. Okay. Now, the more you understand, the more you can express yourself on the bass. Okay. When, when trying to create a feel or leagues or passing notes and everything. Okay. So everything about music is understanding what you're doing okay music is simple it's not as hard as you think it's simple but have you gotten to that level where you understand what you do that is it now the things that we want you to look out for if you've not been um, taking it serious for you to start creating leaks riffs um fills passing notes name them if you've not mastered your foundation these things will be hard for you to get honestly speaking now i would like you to go back to everything you have been taught as a bass player triad skills modes you know arpeggios i will really want you to go back to those topics again okay before you start creating fields so guys today i will be showing you two movements i did on this song this song progression is as easy as ABC. It's just your either your one five four or your five four one, whichever you want to say it. I'm going to show you the progression. So guys, get your bass. Let's get started. So guys, before you start playing to any song, you know I do tell you guys that first thing you look at for is your tonality. Tonality there simply means your key, the key of the song your home base which is your home base which is your home okay now you now look out for the other progressions that are involved on the song now on this song the key of the song is f major okay this is my f 
That is my F major scale, right? Now, the progression of the song. You are Yahweh. Okay? It's as if it's starting from the five. But if you guys are on one. Da, 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 five. Da, 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 four. You are Yahweh. On a normal day, you're meant to go back to your one. But on this particular song cover, the instrumental is we are going to the three chord. You are Yahweh. Look at it. Ah, you are Yahweh. Then went back to four. Okay. That is how they keep um, going around all through. Okay. They were kind of replacing the one with the three. Substitution means in music, substitution means to replace. Okay. If you don't want to land on the one, you can as well replace the one with the three. That is what substitution in music means. You can replace. You can take away and replace it with some other notes or chord progression. Yeah, that's what substitution. You can go dig deep on substitution. So if you're doing you, you are your five and four, you are your one. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. That is how you play the song. But now they are replacing the one with the third. Now this is it. You are your way five and four. You are your three and four. You are your back to five. Okay. Da, da, you are your way. That is it. So this is the basic progression of that song. Okay. And that is exactly what happened all through the song very very good worship song okay so that's the progression okay we've gotten our key so what i did there now what i came up here to do was to run the phrygian mode okay because i'm going to the third remember that part of the song that says you are yahweh alpha Omega. That is my third chord progression. Okay. So I came up here to run the Phrygian. Okay. That is what I did. Leading me to my third. Now, another thing that will make you do exploit when creating reef, legs, fuse, and other <laughs> movement you come across. It is you knowing your fretboard. There are some places you play fields that the impacts will not be felt. Even leaks, even passing notes, you know. So you need to understand your fretboard. You can see, I didn't come here to take that move, to play that frisian. Look at it. It's too heavy here. I need a lighter notes that will help me create an awareness that something unique is happening. That's the reason why I came up here. So guys, the two movements I made use of there was the A Phrygian mode scale. You can see it as scale. Okay, and the C major pentatonic. Okay, that's A Phrygian. to take away some notes okay that's a nice feel to your three now this is it this is my key remember f major one two three you can see the three there is the a so this is my a this is my a eight octave so i'm playing i started with this notes what will be this note? This is my six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, two, three. Flat three, two, one, six. Then five, four, three. If you need 
to know more of these things, how to make use of them. I'm encouraging you to join the Zoom private lesson. So all you need to do is to work on the dynamics there. Okay. The second move started from the six. Six, two, flatter, then shift to one, slide to one. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da -da. Okay, the sound each of the notes are bringing out. I did six, two, flat, three, go back to two, slide to one, go to six, five, three, two, right, then seven, then six, then land on five. How uh, was my C major pentatonic? Okay, but I extended it. So that's it guys. Hope you got something. These are two fields that can help you go to your three chord progression and your five chord progression. Okay, so guys, also for my private lesson, like I usually say, every information is right there on the screen or in the description of this video. Chat me by WhatsApp, send me an email indicating you wanna join my Zoom private lesson. Just come register, okay? And um, my beginner's pack is available. People are getting this beginner's pack and I've been hearing testimonies all around the world about the beginner's pack something that will take them two months to learn in one month they are already done with that things that will take them six months to learn in three months they are done with it okay when you have it you have it okay it's just 75 usd also guys i have a three month course that is running now every information is right there on the screen you really have a reason to improve on the bass guitar within three months this is the time come register registration is still open okay so guys i will see you in my next video bye